standby today. weekend here in uh, I guess maybe North America I don't know if it's just uh, I know it's May, May 2 for a long weekend they call it West Coast, North America, 9 o'clock Eastern, and then uh, most of Europe I think will be like late afternoon. So. How's it going? Uh, let's see how we're doing here. Just checking all the uh, all the stuff, all the tech stuff, all the stream. The audio is okay. Video is okay. Okay, cool. It's um, May. It's May twenty first. We call it May May two four weekend here in I think in Canada and probably in the U S as well. May long weekend. Uh, Victoria Day. That's what it is, right? Um, Queen Victoria. So maybe this is just a Canada thing. It's got to be. I don't think the U.S. Yeah. Anyways. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, more. Anyways. Dan only has Monday off. Kids are home though. Four day weekend for them. Yeah. It's. My kids are home too. Uh, we're still in uh, Ontario. Still in lockdown until. Looks like phase one is gonna reopen. We're gonna start reopening Octo uh, October. Yeah, June fourteenth, I believe. I believe is what the lie has been told. 
Um, so I'll just I'll scroll back up just for a second here. I only do this once. John, good 11 p.m. start for Australia. Much more civilized for Chopper. Oh, Chop. Then, uh, yeah. No standby music. I already said that, yeah. I skipped right, right out of, yeah, usually, you know, people are going to be like, what's going on? Good morning, Steve. Uh, Andy, rub sleep out of his eyes. Just don't rub it into your mouth. Doesn't taste good. I don't know why I'd say that. Why would you say that? Brian's Gate, good morning. Dab Safe from Hamilton. It's not Scotch O'Clock. You can make it whatever. It's always it's always uh, Scotch O'Clock somewhere. Just remember that. Louisiana, Texas Piper, good morning. Um, Chris Fielding, that's not a real holiday. No, it's, it's a made up. Is, what is a real holiday? Everything's made up. Andy Burgert, never heard of that. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to look up the... Uh, I'm just going to look it up quickly. What is, what is Victoria Day? I know it's Queen Victoria. It's to do with England. Victoria Day. Victoria Day. So I can explain what the hell people... Victoria Day is a federal Canadian public holiday celebrated in the last Monday preceding May 25th. There we go. This is a Canada holiday. So we got a long weekend here in Canada. I just, you know... And uh, just still waking up myself. So it's a Canada Day, Canada, not Canada Day. That's July 1st. It's a Canada Day only. Um, oh, you don't have Queen Victoria Day in Australia. Okay. What, why, did, why, does, why does we have it? Why do we celebrate it? Here we go. I got the answer here. That's to honor Queen Victoria, who ruled Great Britain and Ireland for most of the 19th century. It's been observed since 1845, officially declared a holiday in 1901, the year of her death. So there you go. We celebrated her dying. That's, that's really nice. Um, Eric, hello. Box Guitars Rock, good morning. How long did it take you to learn guitar from Heinro? I'm, it's never, I'm never, I've never learned guitar. You never learned guitar. <laughs> that's what um, basic chords and stuff, like a few months, probably. Like, it, it's, I'm just trying, I'm still, I say this every time, I'm like, I'm trying to just learn lead stuff. Like that looping stuff at the beginning, that was just me noodling around with a looper, trying to practice scales and stuff, but you never, you never, you never, never, never say never. It's ongoing process. Depends what you want to do though, right? Am I even centered in the camera here? Hold on a sec here. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, that's crappy quality. Am I doing 720p here? What's going on? I don't know, 1080. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, I don't have an agenda because uh, it's just a long weekend. And I just decided to do this like an hour ago. Two hours ago maybe I set it up. Okay. Um, Eric, you remind me of Bill Burr when you talk. Somebody said that before. I don't know who said that. I think I'm a little bit nicer than Bill. Bill, come, Bill, I like Bill though. I like Bill Burr. But he can seem mean. I liked him in Breaking Bad. He was in um, Mandalorian. I've seen his stand-up stuff. It's edgy, right? Pretty edgy. Patrick, happy V-Day weekend. Did you watch the Leafs last night? I did. Yeah, that... John Tavares, that was horrible, that was sickening, what happened to him. If anybody watches hockey, probably most of you don't. Uh, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs got knocked over, and as he was falling, another player skated by accidentally, and you can argue that, but kneed him right in the face, and he was, he had to go to the hospital on a stretcher. I'm assuming concussion, I never I never looked at the, the update today, but yeah, brutal. I, I don't expect him to be back. Sashida, Sha, sorry, Shashidar, when do you use seven chords? I don't even know what that means. I'm so not into, uh, I'm so not well versed in guitar theory and all that stuff. Like when I used to write songs, I used to play in a band and write songs. I used to just like find shapes that sound good and I didn't even know what I was playing. I knew the basic, I knew the basic open chords, like the majors and minors and uh, sharps and flats and all that stuff, but I didn't know 
all this like sus and suspend and I didn't know the numbers, right? I'm starting to learn that a little bit, but I don't know. Don't really need to know it if you don't really. I'm not as angry sounding as Bill. That's true. Sergey, Sir, Sergey, Borgi, if I'm, I'm probably butchering your name, sorry. Uh, what's your favorite guitar brand? Uh, Fender. Shit flying around here. Um, Chopper, do the Quebecois also celebrate Victoria Day? I believe so. It's a Canadian federal holiday, so I think so. Unless that was a trick question. Because Quebec doesn't have the same lottery system, and they have a lot of separation I'm, things. I'm going to end it right there. Okay. So you guys celebrate some other country. Uh, we're like, um, we're like, we're tied to, to, uh, I don't want, you can go look up, look up ca Canadian sovereign, um, I'm not even saying the right word, I, I'm not awake yet, Canada and UK relations, there's a huge tie, like the queen is somehow, um, our queen, or something, I don't, I don't know, country leader, I don't know all the chords to get off YouTube, oh man, I gotta, you know what, you're right, John, uh, there's somebody that once said, you gotta know all, the, you guys don't know all the chords, get off YouTube. You YouTubers, how do you not, I know all the chords. Um, Andy, have you submitted your riff song video entry for the Rev? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I know what you're talking about, they have a contest. I, I don't know anything about Rev. I've, I've been really not connected to their stuff at all. And I saw, the only reason I saw that was uh, Stephen Boston mentioned it, a contest uh, last week. Um, I won't be doing, you know what, I kind of consider myself not a good candidate for that kind of stuff because I'm, I have a YouTube channel, so I don't, I don't think I'm, it's appropriate for me to enter contests like that. I mean, I could, it's not like having a YouTube channel doesn't make you special or anything, but um, I just don't think I should. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'll be there. Shashidar, when and how do you use suspended chords in any chord progression? I don't know. Eric, do you still have your Squire 70 Strat? Nope, I sold that last year after the review. Commonwealth, that's what, Je there we go. We're in the Commonwealth. I'm I'm so uh, I'm so hip with it, with politics. That's why I'm not going to talk about it. Louisiana, have you reviewed a GNL guitar? No, but I was looking at one. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Um, hold on a sec. Let's see if I can set this up. Let me set. Let me get set up here. That's what I was looking for, because I you know, I'll br I'll bring it up here, and then. Uh, my, my camera's right in front of my monitor. It's, it's a horrible setup. Where is it? Like, do I want to start here? I gotta switch screens now. Hold on. Right over here. Camera one, camera two, and the window. Um, did that work? Just gonna make sure. I'm like a seven second delay here. Ah, that's no good. Where's my refresh? Camera one, camera two. Wow, way behind. In the window. Um, okay, you can see that. Wasn't sure. That was loading up okay. I think the ratio is all screwed up though. Oh no, we're good. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, here's one I was looking at. So I'm gonna miss the chat for a minute here. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick this one because it's it's the cheapest GNL they sell. And uh, they call it Sonic Blue. Man, I don't see any blue in that picture at all. It's like toothpaste blue. So it, I don't know. It looks it looks pretty cheap. It looks kind of like a Squire. Looks like an Affinity, maybe, kind of. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try that. Or, or do you start a little bit higher? Go back to my window here. I don't know. What do you guys think? GNL, first GNL. Do you start start cheap? You start on the bottom and then, uh, you know, um, 
Hey, Patrick, I've got two amps, AC15 and Princeton Reverb. Which one do you prefer for widest range of tones? The Vox seems to be a little narrow, narrower and what it can do. I agree. Yeah, I've got, you can't see it right there. That's a Princeton and an AC10. I like the AC10 for grit, like dirt and stuff like that, cranking it for like rock riffs. And the Princeton you can do more with, I think. So I agree with that. Patriots Day. Patriots Day on Monday? Oh, so you guys have a long weekend too? Uh chat just jumped, so. Uh, Andy, very cool. Very cool guys and brand, go check them out. Oh, G and L. John, I still have screenshots of Tony's chat from the other night. From that night. Oh, okay. Well, it was day here. It was like Sunday morning. That guy. Yeah. Doug Burt, five. Any guitars with P90s? Uh, I don't anymore. You know what, though? I can post, uh, I can paste, um, I, I did one. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, you know, I did a few. Yeah, if you go to, uh, hold on. Um, maybe three now? If you go to my channel and you click on the magnifying glass, like the search thing. Oh, why isn't this not working? I don't know. Search for P90. Uh, three models I've done. Mustang, Player Mustang, Epiphone, Les Paul Jr., and the uh, Les Paul Special. Probably screwing up those names, but... So yeah, they were cool. Paulo. Oh, hi. Ciao, chat, and Lennon. Kevin from Chicago. Cool. Whenever I hear Chicago, this is going to be a weird thing, but I think of Mortal Kombat because I think um, Midway, they're not around anymore. They got bought, shut down or bought by Warner Brothers, but all the all the Mortal Kombat arcade games and stuff, or I believe all the, the actors and everything were from around Chicago area. Chicago area. Dan Hall, thanks for the distraction from my spreadsheet. No problem. Lee Hutch, UK, Canada, a part of the Commonwealth. I think it's time for you to send me your purple parts caster. Oh, it's, I can't. It's in the other room. Otherwise, yeah, I just email it to you. Bernie, good morning. Um... Uh, Louisiana, Texas. Yes, that's what what I'm looking at. Probably are you talking about the GNL? I was looking. Eric, do you listen to Pink Floyd? Yes, I do. If so, what are your favorite songs? Um, I really like "Wish You Were Here," the whole album. So um, probably all the songs on that album, especially "Shine On You Crazy Diamond." Part one through, well, the, the first chunk and the second chunk, I like both parts of that. If you're interested, um, I did a David Gilmore inspired build. I'll, I'll find it. I'll post it in the chat here if you want to check that out. Self-promotion. Just type in uh, Gilmore here. It was a, a guitar build I did last summer. I know what you did last summer. Let's see if I can find it here. Grab it there. Okay. Uh, I will tag you if I can. Look at this magic. Here we go. I don't know if the chat's behind. If that's if what I'm saying links up. Um, Pink Floyd. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Redcom. How about ASAT Special? Let me go look that up. I don't know the model names, so ASAT Special. A sad special. Uh, oh, A sad special. Is that the American? It's, okay, we're looking at. That looks like the price of like a. It's like fourteen ninety nine. Maybe maybe one day. I don't know. Um, I got a lot of guitars this year already, so I'm kind of holding off on any more. Unless something like, you know, 
That's why I'm looking at the cheaper GNL stuff. Stuff I want to try out. I probably won't keep it, but um, yeah, maybe we'll try that. To, uh, sorry, Andy Bungard Rev. So Rev is a, a company. I think they're in uh, Winnipeg. And they make amps, right? Amps. That's all I know. And they're Canadian because that's Winnipeg. Greetings from Detroit. That's Bob. Oh, sorry, B. Rod Clark. I saw Bob for some reason. David is in Kitchener. How's it going? Um, I have a cousin that lives in Waterloo, and I have some friends that live in Waterloo. No, sorry, he lives in... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Waterloo. Waterloo, Kitchener, Cambridge, St. Jacobs, all those areas, they mesh, kind of mesh together. I know. Who would you say is better, Slash or Brian May? Uh, if I had to choose one, I can't say which one's better, but I like Brian May more. Greetings from Halifax, Stender. Jimmy, hey, hey. Uh, Mick R07, since you like Tele-style guitars, I think you should try a Schecter PT Special the one with the P90 neck. I think I've seen it. If there was a Schecter I'd try, it'd probably be that one. Um... It's weird the chat is in real time, but the video is about seven seconds behind. Yeah, I think that's how it works. I don't know. Like I've got, yeah, I think that's that's how it works. Like when I start the stream, there's a delay, so it can censor all the swearing, probably. Got uh, 53 people. Usually I get more people in the afternoon, I think, on a, and this was kind of unannounced, but that's pretty cool. So thanks for joining in. If you're uh, if you're joining in, I don't know. If you're watching the replay, I should have timestamps on this after. I try to timestamp the questions that are uh, important. So um, it's weird. Oh yeah, sorry. ASAT Rocky, ASAT Ferg. So many models. Yeah, I don't know the I don't know uh, GNL very well. So I gotta gotta learn my GNL. Maybe I'll check that one out. And the dollar, so here's the cool thing. In Canada, the dollar has gone up a lot. So our, we're almost, it's like 83 cents right now. So if I buy something from the States, I don't take as much as a, of a hit. Vertigo, how do you get over buying a guitar online without ever trying it? There's a few that I want badly, but we're locked down. So I can't go out and test it. How do you get, how do you get over buying a guitar online? What do you mean get over? Like just, I just take a chance. I don't know. Most places you can you can send back if there's any issues, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Redcom ASAT special. I have the tribute model. See, like those words mean nothing to me. I'm like ASAT. What does ASAT mean? Is that the telly shape, or is that the strat shape? Um, Dan, if you go with 399 Special, they're made of slightly cheaper parts across the board. Same factory in Indonesia does Tribute Line, but I'd go with the 499 Black one. Okay. Oh, Dab Safe's got to go work out. There you go. ASAT Tribute, 499. Let me check that out. Let me check that out. ASAT Tribute. I thought I saw one. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one. Special Tribute ASAT, $4.99. Looks like it's got P90s in it or something. What are those? Not in stock. And, uh, oh, you know what? Let me switch the screen back over here so you can see what I'm talking about. That would help, right? Okay, pop it over. This one here, ASAT Special. Gloss black. Let me go back to, uh, there's a way to check what's in stock. So, and then go back one more. In stock. So I'll tell you like what. Um, let me just do GNL. GNL. Guitars. Solid body. And then uh, in stock. And then sort by. Low to high. 
So what do I see here? Okay, there we go. Trivia ASAP. Blues Boy. And then, uh, so here's, I think I clicked on one of these last night. Am I on the right screen? Let me see. Let me just check that we're good. Oh, come on, you can do it. Why don't you, why don't you do what you're doing? Way behind. Okay, good. Just making sure the screen's... Sometimes I forget to switch back and I'm stuck. Like, check out this lefty here. Pretty sure I looked at the weight on this one. Nine, eight. Why? Why is this nine? Why is this 10 pounds? What are you made out of? Oh, there's a demo model too. Maybe I'll get a lefty. Missing finish on the back of the treble side neck. Oh, they show a picture. Oh, I'd take that. Look at that. They knock off uh, 54 bucks. That's pretty cool. Except it's a lefty. I mean, I could, I could play a lefty, but it just, it'd be, be tough. Um, this one's interesting. Okay. Oh, and they have three of them. So if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick this one. You can pick, you can pick your friends. You can pick your nose. And you can pick your friends' guitar's nose. Is that the same? g &L guitars, tuners look like crap. They look like cheap garbage. Just being honest, I'm not sure if I like those uh, those saddles. Giddy up, let's go, let's go back. One more, I'm not even looking at the chat right now. People are yelling at me, telling me there's no audio or something. Is there audio right now? Check. They look like cheap. Okay, we're good. Um, Back one more, back one more. If I had to pick one today, let's say money wasn't, like money wasn't, uh, say if money grew on on trees, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that blue one. That's a different bridge. Oh, that's nice. Okay, um, what's the difference between that and that? Oh, the bridge is different, that's interesting. They got a lot of cool, oh, that's nice. But like, that's like, so like, just to give you guys an example here, $14.99, how, how much these weigh? Oh, that's pretty good weight. $14.99. This is, see like, that's like price of a Pro 2. And then we go back, back. we go. Okay, let me get back to the chat because I missed stuff. ASAT Telly, Legacy Strat. Oh, okay. That I'll never, I'll never remember that. Ass hat. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll take a look at more. Scrolling back up for a second. Hey, we got Brizzly from Paris. That's cool. Okay. Um, GNL tribute. So you guys know more than me about GNL. I, I don't know. Blues Boys humbucker in the neck position. Interesting. GNL Tribute is the Indo line, but they still use American pickups. ASAT is the T style. S500 Legacies. Man, there's so many different names. I'm just learning all the names of the uh, the PRS stuff lately, so it's too much. I'm not good with words and names and things. Is Square Bullet Telecaster good guitar? That's Bar Bar Gab. Uh, it's it's okay. It's it's what it is. It's cheap, right? But it's it was okay. No body bevel heavier, Christopher. I've looked up GNL at the re Red One Music. Uh, okay, uh, Red One Music. Somebody else mentioned that store the other day. Maybe it was you. I'm going to save that Red One Music and check out their stock. Where are they? Oh, they're pretty close to here. Dorval, Quebec. Where is that? Is that part of Montreal? That part of Montreal. Where is where is Red One? 
Look here. My computer's taking off like a jet. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Scrolling up. Oh, it's Montreal. Okay, Dorval is Montreal. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Six bridge or three bridge saddle. I like both. I have no issues with, uh, no problems with either. I like both. T style bridge. Saddles, do you prefer? Oh, same question, I think. <laughs> Back to back, Andy. So that was Louisiana, Texas. Andy, with T-style bridge saddles, do you have a preference of six individual style or a vintage three style? I prefer the six. No, I'm just kidding. I just answered. I, I don't care. Yeah, I like both. I have a mix, like uh, like this one. This one is uh, this is a bridge from a Mexican standard telly from years ago. Um, so that one's cool, like it's, I guess it's easier to intonate because you got the individual, individual saddles. How's that showing up? That's pretty. Yeah, and then I've also got like this one. Oh, by the way, I'm, I got a, a string swing I'm going to be setting up here. So I'm going to be swinging all my guitars. No, it's like um, a rack, like a rail system, sorry. Oh, this one's so much lighter. Uh, this, so the point was, this is uh, non-compensated. Trying to get it in there. Yeah. And, you know, no issues. I don't know. Oh, something I just learned about these bridges. This is, so this is a Vintera series. Can you see the, see right here, it's like rough, rough metal, and then up here it's brushed. Right there, uh, like polished. Try to capture that. See how you can see the reflection in one part, and the other part you can't. Apparently, uh, the history with that was on the original. I don't know when it was, but some tellies had the ashtray cover, and you could see right here, but you couldn't see below there. So they'd only polish the top part, and they didn't care about the rest. So they kind of just kept that as a, a feature to keep to keep it real. That's what they used to say back then. They're like, keep it real. It's getting warm in here now. Ah, uh, what I miss? What I miss? Let me see if is this camera working. I got another camera here. Let's see. Sound working on that one? Yeah, we're good. You see the difference? Man, the camera really changes how somebody looks. Here I look uh, 42. Here I look 52. There we go. Um, Dan is asking, when you order from Sweetwater, how much money does it cost? Um, depends. Like most of the things I've bought have been made in Mexico or made in the U.S. So there's no customs, like no duty, sorry. I pay tax. I pay HST on whatever the price is and depending on the dollar value. And you can choose, I think you can choose FedEx or DHL and they have a fee as well can't remember the price. It depends on the weight of the thing, I think. And some things don't get a fee. It's so like, customs is just like, it's a hit and miss game, I find. How Swift, would you want to install a Bigsby on your telly? No. I would not. Tomas, uh, do you have any thoughts on Oasis? Yeah. Uh, I was just listening to, uh, I, I've, you know, it's a weird thing. I really like their songs um, a lot. I like a lot of their songs. I can't say I'm a fan of them, though, because of the whole, because they just seem like dicks. Both of them, Liam and Noel, Noah Gallagher, right? So I like their music. I just don't like them. So, because I was actually just listening to, uh, what was the second album? What's the story, Morning Glory? There's a lot of good songs on there. I don't think they're underrated at all. They did well. They did well in the '90s. Like they made a ton. Notable GNL users: Jackson Brown, Jerry Cantrell, plus others. I know of the, I I uh, yeah I can't think of anybody like 
that knows GNL or plays GNL that I know. Mhm. Mm okay, John, which of your guitars is getting the most playing time? Which one the least? Um, the most playing time, any that are in here on the walls. I play all these all the time. The least, I have a couple that are in, in the back, like my first telly, my black one. That one probably gets played the least with the lace sensor humbuckers, I'd say. And my acoustic guitar gets played the least of all my guitars. Jimmy, have you played PV guitars? No, I haven't. Uh, I saw like they had like, <laughs> it was like two years ago, they, they had this Star Wars line. I almost bought one because I'm like, this looks ridiculous. Had like Princess Leia on it or Boba Fett or something for 200 bucks. And I was like, what are these? I think it was a PV, uh, oh, what's the, Raptor? Can't remember the name of the, the line. PV, I don't know what's going on with them. They don't look like they're, they, they just don't have a good presence. I just, I get, a, I get like a gut feeling about certain things and them, they just seem like they're, if you go to their website, let's go to their website, let's do that. You brought it up. Let's check out PV's website. Tell me what you think of PV's website. Let me go load it up here. Why not PV guitars? Don't worry, I'll bring it up here in a sec. Let me switch my screen and I'll get back to the chat. Window. Oh, okay, I see what I did there. That's weird. Okay, just looking at something there. PV guitars. There we go. Um, I'm no expert web designer, but this, this site looks terrible. Is this even the main page? Sorry, I wasn't on the main page. Here's the main page. I don't know, I just, this this looks pretty, pretty crummy. For what you, what you can do today with the, like, websites, like, let's compare, what's another website I can think of that's good? Um, how would you compare PV to something else? I don't know, let's say Yamaha Guitars. Let's see how they're doing. Of course, they want to go to Canada. Yamaha guitars. Yamaha. I don't know if this site's any good. Okay, this, there you go. This looks like a modern site. It's got all this stuff like that. Just some, you know what I mean? Just something like that. And then you go to PV. Oh, I, I thought it was, on, oh, it's over here. Yeah, let's go check out their, uh, their amps. Let's go here. Come on, guys, you got to get a, better web designer. This just looks like crap. Look at these images. Like they're just, it's just crap looking. It's what a site used to look like 10 years ago. If your grandma made it. Sorry, grandmas. You can actually do better. No offense to grandmas. Grandmas rock. Okay. Instruments, electric guitars. Raptor series. Did I say Raptor? Yeah, here they are. Here's this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They've got a Hewlett Packard 2. It's the sequel to Hewlett Packard. So I'm just jumping around because I had uh, I had this amp. It was pretty good. I liked it. Expected soon, August. So they you can't even get them right now. A lot of features in that amp. Anyways, back to uh, back to the chat. Yeah, PV PV doesn't seem okay. Uh Love the Lake Placid telly in the back. Is it on camera? Where is it? Oh, I just put it. That one, that one's um, Dark Knight. That one there. Not sure if you're talking about that. Okay, let me try to catch up here. White telly so beautiful. Uh, Olympic white. Weird, that's a fun little fact about tellies. Oh, I missed what you said. Uh, Oh, my Dark Knight Telly is my number one. S standard frats. Oh, excuse me. Um, can you play Smoke on the Water? Sit hard. No. I don't even think I can play it. Like I, I never learned it. Channel bound. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Can you show us your pedals or your pedal board? I'd have to move my whole camera rig. Um, yeah, I have a video on it. If you go look, you know what? Um, it's a shorts video. 
Let me see if I can find it. Anyways, go, go to my channel and type in a search for uh, how I record my guitar, I think. And I've, I've done it all on there before. Why is it showing? Really? Okay. Andy, I know pedals aren't always something you're super into, but would you peek at the Boss SD1 40th anniversary? I, I saw it. I saw those yesterday. I like it. Um, I have a, a, a Boss DS1 40th anniversary, so it's like black and gold like that. And uh, I have an SD1, so it's just it's just a color, like a skin, right? It's, the pedals are the same. Uh, Vanya, straight HTML, CSS website. There you go. See, I don't know the web technologies that well. I know of them, but um, yeah, it's not an HTML5 site. It's like an old. PVs aren't American made anymore. That's true. Uh, Deja Vu, still haven't seen the Undercover Boss episode on PV, but they were once beloved and now, yeah, that apparently that, that episode did not help them at all. <laughs> Yeah, John, uh, Steve was talking about PV. I told him during that stream, I sent him a message uh, on the chat. I said, go check out their website right now. He didn't, he didn't see the message. It's hard to catch all these, all the chat, but I, but you can see what I was, that's what I was trying to point out. I'm like, their site is not up to, up to date. Key's little site looks like it's from the early 2000s. Uh, PRS site always looks pretty nice. Yeah, I was on there. It's pretty good. Um, Fender is fine. The, the layout's good and it makes sense. Uh, Gibson and Epiphone seem pretty good. I don't check out all the sites, but, you know. How Swift, uh, why don't you want a Bigsby? I don't don't like them. Yes, I don't like them. I don't like the, they're bulky looking. I don't know. I just don't like it. Gear Junkie, good morning. Have you tried contacting any guitar companies for sending you guitars to try? I have, yeah. I've contacted uh, Fender a few times, and they said they, they're not interested. And Eastwood Guitars, a couple times, they said they're not interested. Uh, Godet was one that was happy to uh, send me one. I said, can I try it? Uh, can I borrow one? They said we could sell you one at an artist price, and that's how that one worked out. So I was cool with that, because that's like a big discount. I forget what the discount is, like 30% or whatever markup, you take markup off or something. I forget. Um, who else did I reach out to? Um, that might be it. I don't really, ha I don't have any relationships with any, any companies, except Godet, I'd say now. They, they were interested in, they said if you want to do more this year, let, me, let us know. So maybe I'll check out something new from them. They just released a new guitar. Actually, let's bring it up. Let's give them a shout out. Good day. I'm gonna load it up. Maybe it's on, I don't even know if it's on their site. Let me find it first. Oh yeah, it's on here. Brand new. They have a nice site. So here's an example. Let's go, let's check out another. And this is, this is Pro Canada, Pumping Canada here. Um, right, nope, I don't wanna join. Okay, so let's go to the main page here. Summer Classic HD, they just released this thing. So there we go, trans white. It's um, like a Les Paul style, and there's two colors. Let's take a look here. Um, so anyways, they have this one. I think this is pretty sharp, really unique. Really unique inlays, I think it's rosewood body. Basswood, sorry, basswood body, so it's probably super light. Um, it's got some control here. I'm not sure what it does. It's called the Godet High Definition Revoicer System, HDR. Control your sound by your ease. Yeah, I don't really understand what that is. I have to look at the manual. So they got that one. They got a video. Really nice stuff. Oh, can we see the back of the neck? Oh, that's sharp. I like that. Oh, that's really nice. What kind of neck is that? Neck, silver leaf maple set neck. It's a set neck. Oh, cool. 12 inch radius, super flat. Man, this is probably pretty nice. Uh, 1195 Canadian. So you're looking at like, um, you're looking at like made in Mexico, Vintera. I always compare it to Fender, right? Cause I know the Fender stuff pretty well. Go back here. I 
thought I saw. See, this is a modern site, right? Like this is what a site should look like today. Oh, there we go. They got. This looks like the one I have, the HT Stadium HT. Um, what would they call the color again? Uh, Havana Brown, I'm gonna say. What do you guys think of these? Should I check out one of these? It's a little bit expensive, but I could probably get a, a deal to check it out. Uh, if I was gonna try one, I'd try the white one. Maybe I'll, nope, that's not one of those. That was my uh, Final Cut Pro. Hey, look at what I'm working on here. Here's a, here's a sneak preview. I haven't figured out uh, what to do for this video yet, but let's go back. Let's get back. Sorry, I missed the chat. Check my thing here. Look at what I'm working on here. Here's a, here's a sneak preview. Oh, you couldn't even really see the the window was cut off. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Morning, Landon. What do you think of the PRS? I love it. I love the PRS. 72 watching. I'm just going to scroll up for a second here. Okay, yeah. Contacted companies, so there you go. Uh, uh, morning. Yeah, PRS. John, you, you join the PRS. I it's awesome. Um, oh, what do you have? Maybe you told me. I forget. Nine months to bond with it. Uh, it's the setup on it. The neck. It's all about the necks, right? It. I still prefer. I still prefer the satin feel on a Fender Tele, like the, my Pro Two. I still prefer that neck. But the playability. And Shane said this. He's like, the playability wipes the floor. I think that was a term he used. Wipes the floor. And he's right. It does. It's like the setup is amazing. There's no out of the box. That's a Joe Walsh quote. He's got a custom PRS. He's like out of the box. This plays out of the box. Plays no uh, no tinkering needed. Christopher, ha ever use an ODR one? No, I've never. Furch has a classy website from Brizzly. Uh, Ish. I'm thinking of getting a GNL ASAT Blues Boy. I know what that is now. It's a Tele style with a humbucker. See, I can learn. I can learn new tricks. What do you think about that guitar? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'd like to see more Godet. I'm, I'm, you know what? I think I'm gonna focus on Godet because I liked, I really liked, I really liked um, conversations I had with them, and they, they seemed to appreciate the videos I did. The videos that I did did pretty well too. The one demo I did. Doing pretty pretty good, pretty good and well. Um, forty nine minutes. We're going forty nine minutes here. No wait, sorry. How long have we been going? We've been going for forty nine minutes. Why does it say? What time is it? That's weird. It's saying an hour and a half. Um. Speaking of Gibson, you should be signing up for those weekly Gibson Garage giveaways. That could get a Gibson on this channel. I don't know what that is. Is that a contest they have? Uh, okay. Noob Guitar. Hey, Landon, I have a question for you. How much percentage does the instrument matter while playing? What is the white? I'm not sure what that word was supposed to be. The weightage? In your opinion. I'm not really sure what you're asking. Oh, you said it twice. Yeah, I don't know what you're asking. What do you mean? Summit SG, the P90s looks cool. Uh, love the inlays. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Try the white one, Dan Hall. I uh, I like the Havana Brown. Yeah. I might actually change, oh, you know what? I'll bring out the good day that I have, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is the Havana Brown. You see, it's like a Tele style, right? It's like a, it's like a satiny kind of non-glossy finish. I might change the strings on it. It's got tens. I, I like thinner strings, so I might change the strings. 
Yeah, it's really nice. Super light. They do their own unique things. Like, look at the ferrules on that. I'm trying to catch it. There you go. You can see how it's, like, recessed. Like, you go out for school and play in the, in the yard, it's recessed. And a nice uh, thing with the stuff. So technical. I'm trying to watch my screen backwards at the same time. Let's go uh, hang that back up. Okay. I think I will go for, well, you know what? How many people we got? 73 people. I'll keep going. I got, I got nothing planned right now. So, um, maybe I will reach out to Good Day and see how they're doing. May, might not even be able to get a guitar right now. They might not have any because that's brand new. Okay, the chat just jumped, so I'm going to miss a bunch of stuff. Sorry if you had any. Hey, Zach Thong. Um, if I missed any, if I'm not responding to your questions. Grizzly, oh my God, as much as I love Joe Walsh's tone, yeah, that wasn't a great, the audio was not good in that video, but it was a funny video. <laughs> I thought it was funny. What small room amp do you like for low volumes and good tone? Um, hmm. I don't really have a small room amp. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough, tough to answer because I got this room here and these amps aren't small, but I got them turned down low because it's a small room. So, I mean, I got the AC-10, which is crazy loud though, but I can turn it down and still get good tones, I find. Um, Lowell, what electronics for a Telecaster would you, buy, would you recommend? I'm on a budget, so Obsidian Wire Solderless Kit is a bit expensive for me. Yeah, if they are expensive, they're, they're, they're like 80, 90 bucks is thing is so to do your own you're gonna need a soldering iron like I don't recommend getting a cheap one then you're gonna buy the parts and then you're gonna spend the time putting it together so what is that worth to you figure that out I guess right like to me the obsidian wire kits um, I just buy them I don't get a discount or anything they sent me a few for free to demo like in a couple of the videos but generally I just pay for them because for me, time is money, especially for that. I just don't, I don't want to spend the time. And they're solid. They're like really, really good. So if you already have the soldering iron, I guess maybe I would try to get like, I, I don't know, CTS pots. I don't even know where I'd look right now because I haven't bought parts like that for a while. So, um, noob guitar, like what's the ratio of your playing technique and your guitar? To what extent, the, okay, I think I, I know what you're asking. How much does the guitar matter to help with your playing? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say a ton. I, I mean, if it's if it can stay in tune, that helps because it's not frustrating to have to stop and retune. If it, if the, it's all about the neck. If you can find a neck that's comfortable and the guitar stays in tune, it doesn't matter how much it costs. As long as it sounds good to you, I guess. I don't know if that helps. It's the neck. It's all about the neck. Oh, John. Okay, you did tell me this. Yeah, you got the Korean 24SC. They just switched over, right, to Indonesia. Um, they have a cool video. I watched two of their videos, PRS. They have a video on their, it's like a year ago. They have a video, a factory tour, Indonesian factory tour. And then they, they have an American factory tour. And it's a, it's surprising. People, I think, today think it's all CNC that does everything, that do everything. There's so much hands-on involved in a guitar. So, yeah. Uh, no more good day. Every time I'm at my uh, HT calls me twice a week, and the kids be mine. What is the price of one right now? Were they like? Last time I checked. Sweetwater was like 750. Canadian, what are they like? Eight, 800, 900. Um, try some trainer amps. That's on my list. Let me see. I got a list. I keep a little list of things I want to try out. It's just like a wish list, right? It's a bucket list, I guess, for me. Um, and I'll kick the bucket. Oh, here we go. So here's what I I expect to be able to try out. A Squire Contemporary Jaguar, 
It's supposed to be released in May. And this is May now. So we'll see. Yamaha Pacifica, uh, GNL something, Ibanez, Reverend, Eastwood. That's all I got. Uh, Japanese Fender, maybe a Japanese Tele at some point. I'll show you the Yamaha Pacifica I've been actually interested in. So let me load that up. Again, it's going to be in Sweet Waters. Sweet Waters. You know what? Sweet Water. Damn. You know what? I'm going to load it up right here. Okay. This is, this is not even a joke. Okay. We got the screen up here. Okay. Sweet Water. Right? They don't even sell water. They don't even, never mind Sweet Water. Oh, there's, good, there's Amazon trying to sell me some water. Is this water? Can I, can I buy this and drink it? What if I'm thirsty and I'm uh, buying a guitar? Okay, enough, enough. So shut up. Just shut up. Yamaha Pacifica. 612. This, this is calling to me. This is calling to me. Oh, they're out of stock. They had four last week. This one's calling to me. I don't know why. It's like, hey. Hey, look at that cool, cool stuff. Anyways, if I was going to try a Yamaha, I'd probably try that. And then, uh, oh, there's um, Red One Music. It's tough managing all these windows at the same time. Okay, go back to here. Okay. Um, trainer. Yeah, that was on my list. Trainor. Trainor. Trainer. Trainer. Does Trainer offer training? Mm, bad. Fantasy Music here in Halley has a nice deal on ATM. Buy a music. Oh, at the moment. Uh, automated teller machine. Okay. Vanya. Guy. I don't know how to see your name. Sorry. I'm screwing it up. Do you prefer something like 9.5 or 7 and a quarter radius or 12 or 14? Uh, I like 9.5, pretty comfortable. The 10 on the PRS is amazing. Let me, uh, yeah, let me grab that one. The neck is really good. I just want to show the, the body. I'm working, I'm going to work on a deep dive. You can see the, the laminate, um, I guess they call it, uh, veneer it's just like a thin wafer wafer thin thing and then uh mahogany mahogany and then maple neck and 10 inch radius but man these necks are nice interesting too they're three piece Let's see if that shows up three pieces of neck i don't know if that's showing oh you can see it there see in the headstock one two Three. Oh, maybe more than three. No, that's three. It's nice. It's nice. You can go here. You've been upgraded to uh, passenger. Okay. What I missed? Oh, I didn't put my cool light on. Okay, I got to restart the whole stream. <sighs> Ruined it. Now I'm a YouTuber. Like, look. Can't believe I did that. Dan's got to go. Work meeting. Take care. Um, 612 Pacific, it does have a nice nice parts. It's 799 Canadian, so it's not much more. 649 American, so maybe they adjusted their prices. One sec here. Yeah. Okay. Court is the one making all the Indonesian guitars for American companies. Are they? Okay. I've heard of that. Long week Q&A. So when will you go to sleep? I don't know. When I, when I pass out. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. El Irmiris has a Pacifica 612. How is it? How's the neck? Yeah, Sweetwater should totally sell water. That's sweet. That's They're sitting on a gold, but I guess bottled water. Maybe they don't want to get into that. 
Um, Sue Water Exclusive PRS SE Black Gold. Nice. That's from RCMR. Um, yeah. What was I? What was I talking about? Was there something else I was talking about? I don't think so. If you guys have any questions, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. We've been going for uh, 59 minutes. It's telling me. Let me just cut this at an hour. Um, so that's all I got. I want to go play guitar and have some fun. Um, let me see what videos I got. I got some videos planned. I'm doing. Um, oh, let me, yeah, I'll mention this right now. I've got a, a build video. It's all filmed. I just have to edit it. And ed editing, so I did an assembly of this guitar. This is a, a rosewood. I can see it nice there. Yeah, it's all about the lighting. It's good timing. This is like contrast, purple and green. They contrast each other. This is basically um, a Baja Tele. It's got a, it's got a push, push, S1. They call it the S1. Sorry, I was gonna say push, push, but it's an S1 switch. So you can do phase, um, what do they call it? Out of phase, phase inversion, I guess, phase and. I put uh, locking tuners on it. So really the assembly of this is like this body and this was a loaded body. I just added the neck, added the tuners, did the setup, um, bought a strap. These are really nice straps. This is a Fender, they're called like a comfort strap. I actually prefer these to the other ones I had. They're really nice. It's kind of like a soft, soft like cotton or something, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, I'm working on a video for that. I just find the build videos, they're just like so time consuming. I can't, I can't sit down and just edit straight. I gotta like do it in chunks. It's 150 minutes, yeah, 150 hour and I think I'm trying to think how many, like over an hour of footage, maybe an hour and a half. So I gotta trim it down and then, you know, um, Per, love the mid to higher end Pacificas. Yamaha are great guitars. My first guitar was a Yamaha. It was, uh, it's an acoustic. I still have it. Samic makes most in Korea. Does anybody know why, why so many companies moved from Korea to Indonesia? Oh, huge fan of Indonesian guitars. <laughs> this guy's Deja Vu is actually saying that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Christopher, thanks. Great show. Have a good one. Yeah, take care. I'm going to wrap it up. But when people keep asking stuff, I, I usually, I'll hang in because I, I, I'm not really going to do anything. But uh, RC, the Pacific, uh, looked at the Pacifica red one, but the pots would need to be upgraded yet. Cool. So, yeah. All right. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. I might change the thumbnail to uh, this. Let's do a thumbnail. This isn't what the video is about. That'll be in the thumbnail. How's that? That's actually a nice picture. Yeah, that purple background. All the very artistic. Stay on the wall, don't fall. So yeah, I mentioned I'm gonna get a rail system here so I can have five guitars there and then these Hercules things won't have those. Um, Okay, take care. That's it. We're done. I'm out. Have a good long weekend if you're having a long weekend. Otherwise, have a good short weekend. Okay.